Peace, everybody. You now tuned in to the All Viral Access Media Show. All right? Let's get it. Now tune in to All Viral Access Media. You dig? People, and nobody will listen to me. These people aren't dying from COVID. They don't care what is happening to these people. They don't. I'm literally coming here every day and watching them kill them. It's like going in the fucking twilight zone. Like, everyone here is okay with this. The only way I can kind of put this into context for everybody is, and this is going to be kind of an extreme example, this is like really the only thing I can come up with, is like if we were in Nazi Germany and they were like taking the Jews to go put them in a gas chamber, I'm the one like there saying, hey, this is not good, this is bad, this is wrong, we should not be doing this. And then everyone tells me, hang in there, you're doing a great job. You can't save everybody. But these people aren't dying from COVID. Let me give you several examples here. Uh, an anesthesiologist um, intubated the patients, like I think it was right bronchi and of a patient and they couldn't get the sats up. And for about five hours, like we were waiting on a chest X-ray to confirm that the placement was wrong. And in the meantime, while we're waiting for that, we've told the anesthesiologist that it was placed wrong. Cause like literally only one side of his fucking chest is like inflating. Um, he dies. A patient had a heart rate of 40 and the resident <laughs> starts doing chest compressions on him, which is not what you do. You just externally pace them or you give them some atropine. And then, you know, I run in there to stop him from doing chest compressions on somebody with a fucking pulse. And then he decides to push Epi. He throws some pads on them, on him to, to defibrillate the guy in bradycardia. Okay, he has a heart rate of 40 in a stable, you know, bradycardic rhythm. We just need to give him some, like some atropine and pace them. He fucking defibrillates him and kills him. And I was literally ran out of like the patient's room to get like the director of nursing who was standing out there and I'm like can you stop him he's going to kill that patient he's going to kill that patient if he defibrillates him with bradycardia and a heart rate of 40 and the director of nursing just shook his head and I turned around and he killed the dude <sighs> there was a nurse who played it placed an ng tube into um into some guy's lungs and filled his lungs with tube feeding there was a nurse who confused uh, a long-acting act insulin with a short-acting acting insulin and gave 30 units of a fast-acting act insulin and killed the guy. It's just here they're just going to let them rot on the vent. They're medically mismanaging these patients. And, like, I'm not a doctor, guys. I'm not professing to be a doctor by any means. But there's, like I said, basic standards of care that we have to do. When somebody's low on blood, like literally on the brink of a critical low blood level, we should replace the blood. But I asked the residents and they're like, does he have internal bleeding? And I said, no. And they're like, well, we're not replacing the blood. Well, here's the thing. In these COVID patients, they all eventually need a blood transfusion. Their blood, like, if you don't have enough blood to actually oxygenate your body, the vent settings don't fucking matter because you have no oxygen carrying capacity of your blood. We have a nurse who fell asleep at the fucking nurse's station while we were all in rooms and her norepinephrine ran out and the guy had no fucking blood pressure and didn't perfuse his brain and I'm pretty sure he's brain dead. That same nurse is now running a CRRT machine, a dialysis-like machine that she has never done before. She said she'll figure it out. I'm pretty fucking smart and I figure a lot of shit out, but I would never attempt to try and figure out a CRRT machine on the fly. We are adequately staffed. There's a shit ton of staff in there, like, and we have a nurse who does CRRT in there. She has a different patient load. We told them like, hey, let's just swap these nurses so the one that knows how to work this machine can work this machine, but they didn't want to do that. So I'm pretty sure that patient will be dead here in a couple hours. Nobody is listening. They don't care what is happening to these people. They don't. I'm literally coming here every day and watching them kill them. I mean, we're not going to save everybody. That's fine. Like, come on, guys. We're not God. Some of these people are just on sedation to keep them on the vents. Nothing else. I have a lady on a trank on a vent, and she's not even fucking cognizant. She's not even on sedation. You know what we give her every day? We give her breathing treatments, albuterol, and, uh, she gets uh insulin and that's it we're not treating the covid guys 
for real, we're not treating the COVID. You know, every day we try and get these guys off the vents, right? Because, you know, there's criteria for weaning. Every day, a day shift nurse will wean them down to minimum sedation. <sighs> Every night, we come in and we get the same two residents and they fucking max out all the sedation again and undo all the work from the day shift. Then the day shift attending will come in and they'll all do rounds and they'll be like, he wasn't synchronizing with the vent. So we had to turn all the sedation on. And I'm like, he wasn't synchronizing with the vent because it's in the wrong vent mode. I even tried getting a hold like of black advocacy groups here. <laughs> they just put me on hold or hang up on me. Tried talking to management. Now I got moved units. Can someone come up with like some type of a solution for me? Because I'm kind of out of ideas. You know, I, I try and talk with some of the other nurses here, and they're like, well, you can't save everybody. And they all know what's happening. They all agree with me, and they all just shake their heads. And I'm like, am I the only one who is not a sociopath? To think that this is okay? I mean, guys, they literally don't even know when they're dead. Like, how many times have I told you they've assigned me a dead person? <laughs> like, how long have they been dead? Nobody knows. Like, how is anybody assessing anything without a stethoscope? Normally, we have, like, those disposable stethoscopes. But I knew what we were coming into, so I brought my old chunky one. Nobody, nobody has listened to anybody's lungs as long as I've been here. Even with disposable stethoscopes. I keep telling them that, you know, the guys are like, the, my patient's going acidotic. We need to do something about this before his kidneys shut down. You know, give him some bicarb or something like that. And this is what they do. They let the patient's blood get acidotic. Their kidneys shut down. And then at the last minute, they finally decide to run bicarb. So they run five liters of bicarb into a person who's gained 20 pounds of water weight and completely throw him into heart failure and he dies several hours later. That was one of my patients. So I let them know, I'm like, they had me start the bicarb, like, before I left one night. And by the time I had come back in, the next shift, he was dead. And they assigned him to me. And he was already in a body bag like guys they're not dying of covid i am literally telling you that they're murdering these people and nobody will listen to me i mean like i said i'm not a doctor but i'm pretty sure that when you defibrillate somebody with a heartbeat of 40 in a stable rhythm and you kill them that's murder and i'm pretty sure that when you put somebody's peep up to like 25 and peep doesn't go past i think like 15 20 and you, you blow their lungs out and they die i'm pretty sure that's murder i just watched a doctor drop a central line and fucking rupture like the sub like clavian like vein and the guy fucking bled to death i mean covid didn't break that central line covid didn't kill that guy i mean he was a covid patient i mean every single patient i've taken care of guys is a covid patient like i've never had a non-covid patient I watched an anesthesiologist like an ET tube and rush for their esophagus and the guy choked to death on his own blood. Ah, COVID didn't place that ET tube incorrectly. And nobody cares because they're all minorities and we're in the fucking hood. You know, and that's just not okay. What I need is someone to help me save these people from being killed. From gross negligence and complete medical mismanagement. God. Yeah, my lead at the other hospital who advocated for the patients too. Like the first day I got there and I was in orientation, that crash course orientation, he warned me that I was going to have a problem. He would advocate for the patients too. They fucking moved him too. He's at a completely different hospital. I tried reaching out to him, but he hasn't texted me. Like, I, what do you think? I saw what was bad. 
He saw way worse shit than that. Hey guys, I'm going to the unit. Let's see how they kill him there, okay? Stay safe. Stay out of NYC for your health care. Before you leave, make sure you hit that like button, that share button, and definitely subscribe. All right? This is All Viral Access Media, okay? And I'm out this motherfucker. Peace.